Yo, welcome on everybody. I'm on Gaming here. We're back with our new video. We got some big news. Probably the biggest news we've gotten. All 2K24 cycle, new cycle already. Check this out real quick. Mike Wang, once again, out of hibernation. Since some of asked, you see the picture by with the limitless takeoff. Person, you can see a little, little cartoon character plus the badge waving bye bye. It is gone. And if you don't know already, he has already said. Quick drops are pretty much gone. However, that means if they completely remove the animation or the cheesy animation out of it, we don't know. But quick drops and limitless takeoff is gone. Oh my gosh. Mike Wang, the people, them are going to riot. You see, my boy Statistics said about damn time. Codeman said W Mike, and we're going to check out Codeman clip coming up later this video. You're going to see exactly what he's talking about in that need defensive animation tweet that he made. Thank you, Mike Wang. I appreciate you doing this, all right? You see, Double H asking Mike Wang about when he's pretty much going to start answering questions and stuff. Lamasta saying, pretty much, imagine if he does this to fade, y'all will be done for. And and then you have Tiller say, hold on, grind it from the top row. No, to what Lamasta said, I don't think it would be like that for the comp scene because if they fix the slow load up animations, people wouldn't have to fade. That's one thing I have to say. People only fade. I only fade because you can't stop and shoot regularly versus comp. They're going to contest every shot. Not, not, not even against comp. Against bombs, they're going to contest that stuff, bro, because it's so slow to load up animations. You see some more reactions. Yes, from, from Double A Solo saying some of y'all in trouble. Key Stick saying it's fine. I think Key Sticks will be fine. iPod King Carter saying siege. It's iPod patched? iPod, I know you can't be patched, bro. You can't, I know you're not. Hold on. And then you have Iggy Mode putting the um, Will Chamberlain stats up. That's Mike this year. No, Red City Boy, one of the best players every single year, said skill gap coming, and I have to agree. All the people complaining about, oh, we small guards had it good. We didn't adapt. I hope you are ready for pretty much if Mike Wang executes this good, this is going to be my exact reaction right here. Because all year, y'all been telling us to adapt, adapt, even though we have adapt. We dribble better than you still, with or without cheese. We get to the rim better than you, we shoot better than you. I'm not even the best comp player in the world, but I know what I've seen when I play Park this year, even though I barely play Park. Now, Swante said do this to fade. And LD just... LD has a tendency, like Swante said, to always give hints on what's to come. And that Leonardo DiCaprio um, GIF that he posted is literally one of the most famous GIFs in the world. And it's pretty much just like like a touche moment. Like it's hinting like, you you know, you'll be, just wait and see, you know, like words don't have to be spoken. Is fades gone as well? Listen to me. Every single year, fading has never been as bad as it is now. Let me address this before we move forward. Fading is only a problem because the slow load up animations for stop and shoot. Since there's no quick stop or peak, there's no stop and shoot mechanism that's actually usable in this game. Sometimes you can bop somebody and you can stop and shoot. But with the million different shot timings and the slow load up animations, people have to fade. So stop this old fade stuff. People only fade because they have to fade. Now, Codeman tweeted this out. NBA 2K24 needs defensive bump animations like 2K16. And I want y'all to take a look at this clip right here. Times. 2K Prince needs to give the defender the lateral quickness Prince needed Prince to be able to match up with the this. speed of any ball Cut handler. I don't care if it's a six foot nine or a six foot one. Boxing, pretty boy Fredo. And I'm telling you right now, you're going to see my tweet, my reaction to that, actually. I am all for that. I want the most overpowered offense, but I also want the most overpowered defense. It needs to be even kill. Everything needs to be balanced. Defense and offense should go hand in hand. One should be not more superior than the other. And let the best man win. And that's pretty much what I tweeted right here. Oh, yeah, we need this. Follow me on Twitter, by the way. Both overpowered offense and defense. Let the best man win. And that's my take on everything. Let the best man win. Be humble. You're not going to be the best at anything. All right. And if you are the best at something, you're not going to be the best for long. Your time will come. Be humble. Accept that somebody is better than you and try to get better. Now, this is what Red City Boy replied to me saying, this is what I'm trying to tell um, them, man. This is what we need. OP offense and defense. Let the best man win. That's what would make game, you know, the game fun again. And that's I have to agree with that. That's what would make the game fun again. Now, you see, replying to the tweet about fades, <laughs> Swante is just saying he got LD in 4K just in case fading is still OP. I'm telling you right now, I'm going to repeat it once again. Fading is only a thing in this game because the, the slow load up animations make it impossible to just stop and shoot when you beat your defender. Just in case you're on the rock, Chris move has been under something. Let's make it clear. Let's just let's watch this video with me. Let's be honest. Chris move. Uh-oh. 
You are a my career goat. The goat. My career. My it, it, the, the, it's changed, brother. I, <laughs> hey, I'm not familiar with your part game, but I can assure you, just judging off the videos I have seen, whether it's two years ago, whether it's to yesterday. Okay. You're oh, like just I, and this is coming from somebody that like I'm. Ass, okay, so I know game, right? These park cheesers will drop you the f off. I don't give a f if it's not I'm real basketball. You, That's just the reality of it's where the game delusion. NBA 2K is at. That's just that's just what it is. I mean, these kids, like, they got better reflexes. Every, like, that's just that's supposed to happen. They're supposed to be better. I mean, when you were younger, I'm sure you, you had a little better reflex. You were a little better at dribbling. But I don't, I, I just think you, you have basketball IQ, but this isn't real basketball. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This isn't real I want to hear this. basketball. 2K isn't a real basketball game. Let's be Preach honest. Like it hasn't been. To the youth, then. And that's, it's a video game. Preach to the so, youth, then. Oh my gosh. LSK just done the whole sim nation on realistic basketball enthusiasts in one friggin' clip. Not even a long clip. I'm just done all of them. Stop the foolishness talking about some realistic this. It's a friggin' video game. We jump on the video game to escape reality. Whether you're depressed, whether you just want to have fun, whether you want to cool off, whether you want to chill with the bread as them, you get on the video game to escape reality. So why are you trying to bring reality to the video game? I don't understand these people. And as a matter of fact, it's not even a problem. Y'all want realism? Stay in my career. You won't have to. De you'll be the happiest player. You can do all that realistic stuff in my career. You don't have to try to turn online gameplay into bot gameplay because you cannot do. You don't have the reflexes. You don't have the skill to do what you see the people that you're hating on doing. Stop hating, bro. The, I remember the days, and I made a tweet like this. Follow my Twitter, Yama Gaming underscore. When people would just look at somebody doing something skilled, like on COD or something, and you wouldn't call them a no life or call them a cheeser and call them trash and tell them they need to stop playing so cheesy because they're not good. People would be like, yo, that dude is actually tough. I don't know how he's doing that. I need to learn how to do it. I need to get better. That is not the case anymore. Gaming has changed. Everybody wants a participation trophy. And in my world, there is no participation trophy. You're either a loser or you're a winner. And there's no in between. You're a loser or a winner. Simple as that. You won or you lost. That's how I, that's the generation I come from, right? All this, I, everybody want to be on the same level. Everybody not on the same level in real life or on the video game. Everybody different. Everybody got different pockets. Everybody have different skills. Everybody have different knowledge. We are not all on the same level. We are all different. So you're going to tell me LeBron James is a cheeser because he, you know, he knows how to get to that rim better than other people. <laughs> Or are you going to tell me Kyrie's a cheater because he dribbles the ball better than everybody in the world? T trust me, bro. That's not the argument you want to go with. Everybody is different in life. And the video game is no different. We all have different skills and different gifts. Stop trying to make everybody be on the same level. And like I said, if the Sim Nation want to have realism, stick to playing my career. And you will have all the realism in the world. It's a video game, and there's always going to be cheese, even if they take out dribbling forever. Remember, I told you this right now, because you don't want to hear it. There is always going to be cheese, and if it was just left stick, all the best players that you're hating on and calling them not skilled, they're going to left stick better than you. And that's just facts. I'm sorry, but I mean, that's am I lying? Anyways, statistics said 70% of y'all week six nines just got patched laughing, and then February said 70 more, you know, I'm going to paraphrase, more like... 97.9 .9. and i'm gonna say this more like 98 percent 98.9 percent pretty much 99 percent of six nines just got their stuff packed up just based off that and we know that animations are going to be restricted compared to this year so they're not going to probably have the best dribble styles and stuff like that anymore no this um uh, call me meat said until he tweets out handles for days are gone pretty much just saying to my tweet when i was like yes I said that won't bother me because anyone who calculates their dribble moves, they're going to be just fine. I calculate my dribble moves. Now, when 2Ks give me messed up animations, obviously, 
I'm going to have a rough time. And that has nothing to do with me. That has just has to do with the input on the video game. People that know how to dribble will be fine. Now, real quick, we're in with this Lakers fan saying, I've been doing this slasher stuff, winning 90% of my game seven years now. If you think some limitless takeoff badge made me, you can, I'm not even going to say the rest, but you get the point. Anyways, big up on yourself, big up on that mic. We can't do that. Nah, nah. uh, G Gonna don't know the thing already. Let me know what you think about this news right here. I want the same people that was telling everybody to adapt this year to keep that same energy when they're boxed with adrenaline bars because they can't speed boost their way open with the stop and go mechanism and they're not going to be jumping from the free throw line i want to see y'all keep that same energy because we were fine this year we did adapt and we still did our thing we just don't prefer it and i'm talking about dribblers and comp guards comp players we just don't prefer it but we did adapt now it's your turn to adapt enjoy it big up on yourself we're gone